Welcome to another episode of the Newey Tech Jobs Update, uh, this time for September 2020. If this is one of the first episodes you've seen of this series, what we're doing is looking at activity for the amount of jobs posted in the Newcastle technology section of SEEK. SEEK tend to be uh, the biggest place to go uh, and the best indicator for activity in the job scene. So we're looking at the trend lines, activity, what's happening in the Newcastle technology scene. For the month of September, we had 110 jobs posted in the Newcastle tech scene. So that was up 2% month on month and up 6% year on year. And that is the first time we've seen a positive trend year on year or month on month since COVID started. So really positive indicator to start and say the technology in general, uh, technology specifically in Newcastle is upward trending and looking really, really strong again. It's been obviously heavily affected by COVID right through the months of February, March, April. Uh, But we've seen some upward trends more recently. And now we're looking at the first month that's actually up year on year. So Last year was a really positive year, and this year we're, we're getting back up to those levels again. So very good signs for Newcastle technology scene. The majority of those roles are still permanent roles, so we are seeing some longer-term contracts. So we're talking anywhere from six, nine, or 12-month contracts. Uh, there are some companies that have got big big projects on the board at the moment and are offering long-term contracts. So there are still those in play, but I would say the vast majority of the roles are still being posted are in permanent fashion. The biggest change we've seen year on year is who's actually posting the roles. Uh, This past month, 74% of the roles being advertised were by private advertisers. Last year, that was 38%. So definitely an upward trend for private advertisers. That's companies posting roles themselves as opposed to recruitment companies posting the roles. Uh, This is continuing the trend that we've seen through COVID, through COVID the whole way through, definitely an increase in private advertisers posting roles organically themselves. The change that we're not seeing is any dip in software development activity. So software developers are by far and away the most common role being posted on Seek. And that's everything from graduates right the way through to we've had a couple of lead developers, principal developers. So if you're a developer in this market and you're not absolutely stoked with your role, feel free to reach out because there's plenty of opportunity out there at a multitude of different type of companies from agencies right through to startups and small business uh, through the big corporates. So software developers, uh, if you're a software developer candidate, uh, the market is very positive for you at the moment. Outside of software developers, the biggest uptick we've seen in September is the rise in uh, BAs and also QA slash testing roles. So a bit of a rise in that QA and testing space. Uh, In particular, definitely looking for people with automation experience there. And then also BAs, uh, and they're being driven by a couple of bigger projects going on locally. So a bit of a rise in BAs, definitely a significant rise in that sort of QA and testing space. So that's a wrap for September 2020. Really positive month. Nice to see month on month uptick as well as year on year uptick uh hopefully a sign for a strong october november as we kick into that sort of quieter period over december january so hope you've had a successful month hope you're trying to find a a nice solid balance between uh working from home and office if that is where you're at until next month cheers